Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my 12 Let's Play series and today I wanted to show off the Shadowhunters Clash Gem ability because I finally received my... leave me alone. <laughs> I finally received my Shadowhunters Clash Gem and look! It's perfect! <laughs> it, it's not actually perfect though. It is near perfect. I am still extremely happy with what I got. It was the first key that I used. Um, and it was a two star, so it was one star off of being perfect, so that's uh, what, like six rolls off being perfect because it needed to roll a star and then that could have been any of six abilities. Of course you have to discount the physical damage, critical damage, because it couldn't roll that. Um, because I already did. So I think it was like six off perfect or whatever. Uh, that's, we don't need to be too technical about it. We can just say it was nearly perfect. And then I rolled it, or I leveled it up, and then it became even better. Like, not, obviously it's not perfect, but nearly perfect. So I'm very happy with it, and... Obviously, a lot of people have already seen the ability, but not on my channel, because this is not my main, and it, I have now received it. And I do really enjoy it. Um, I can see its flaws. Uh, like, I think people that don't have it are the ones that hype it up the most. I'm going to be honest, because I had it pretty hyped up in my head when I heard everyone talking about the Shadowhunter and everything. But uh, after testing or doing some testings and, you know, playing around with it. Obviously, I'm only 7.7k PR. Um, so to the ability of that, so w so literally just numbers would rise if I had higher PR, nothing else would change. Um, I, can, I can see some flaws with it, uh, but no matter the case, it's still by far the best class gem. Remember, that's what I'm saying, class gem, not class. <laughs> uh, it is by far the best class gem. It is the most impactful to the class that owns it, comparingly. So we can say we can make this comparison. The Chloromancer is by far the strongest class for Shadow Towers. Um, there's no argue about that or argument about that. But its class gem ability is also very strong. But it's not as impactful to the class. The class is good without that gem ability, and the gem ability isn't as huge of a boost to the class to make it be like, hands down, this class is overpowered. Um, because considering it's, you know, the strongest ST class in the game, uh, if it had a very good class gem, it would obviously make that class pretty overpowered to the point where there would probably be complaints. Um, but with the Shadow Hunter, the Shadow Hunter is a very poor class until you give it its class gem. Then it becomes a very, 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 very powerful class, uh, especially for dungeons. So I would say that it is, in terms of class gems, it is the strongest. Uh, I would probably give it to Gunslinger next, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it is. It is still an extremely powerful class gem. Like I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it is farming a lot faster than my rev. I heard that kind of switches around the higher the power rank you get because uh, That's the way it goes in dungeons like shadow towers. This isn't an issue uh, This only applies to like dungeons or hard modes where burst is pretty much the king and I heard again I only heard just like I heard the shadow hunter was so overpowered, right? Um, I heard that the rev with its uh, once it gets a high enough PR that it can one shot a boss with a right click, which would obviously be very powerful because the best class for a dungeon would be the class that can walk in there, click once, and kill the boss, right? Um, which a Shadow Hunter can never do unless it uses its ultimate, which can only be used every 40 seconds. Uh, besides that, you do attack very fast, and if you Shadow Mark it, it will explode for a ton of damage. I do agree, but I can see, I can see the truth behind those words. Um, but yeah, it's still still very powerful. For now, it is farming faster than my rev. That is, there is no doubt about that uh, at my power rank. So for me, I'd rather play the Shadow Hunter than the rev for dungeons. I would not do that for Shadow Towers, but for dungeons, I am having a lot of fun with it. I also wanted to kind of what is that? Oh, Raptor! <laughs> Raptor just popped up. Said I was done playing Trove. Um, so I also wanted to kind of use this video to talk about a little bit of changes to Trove because there was nothing to talk about yesterday in the Friday news video. Um, and then I went out so I didn't make a video at all. So that's why I'm doing two videos today. Um, but there was nothing to talk about because they didn't show anything for a video. Like I couldn't make an entire video out of it, but I could discuss it in my Let's Play. 
Um, so a couple things happened on Friday and then Saturday. So on Friday, they made Clash Gem Key Fragments unavailable to be traded, as most of you probably know. Uh, they also gave Selene, or Selene used to give double stats. So the Celestial Dragon, I think that is the one, right? Let's check. So I know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, Selene the Celestial Dragon was giving double stats, and that has been fixed. And the global leaderboard for, or the weekly leaderboard for uh, weekly dungeons has been fixed. It used to say rank 1, rank 100+, plus, and then these were the same, and then they fixed that. So that was pretty much all the changes that they did. And then they also discussed a few things. I don't have it written down again because uh, I didn't plan to make a news video, but when I was going to make my Let's Play, I was like, sure, let's just talk about that to have conversation. Um, and the only thing I can really remember is that the dragons might be releasing weekly, and then the we have the information on how to obtain the pinata dragon. The pinata dragon will be a rare, or the egg, the egg will be a rare drop from pi uh, pinatas. Any pinata is what I heard. Um, so that means if you open up a mastery pinata, you might have a chance of getting a pinata dragon egg. If you open a shadow pinata, you might have a chance at getting a pinata dragon egg. If you open a spring pinata, same thing. Every pinata, that's how it's going to work. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, so let's talk about the class gem key fragments because uh, that was just changed and I did mention how happy I was that they are tradable, but I obviously knew that they were going to be untraded. I was just saying in the moment, like for those two days, I already knew they're going to be hot fixed. Um, some people thought that, uh, that uh, I thought that they're going to be traded forever. Um, but no, I knew they were going to be traded. I was just happy in the moment that they're tradable, you know, because I wanted to buy so much, which I could have that day if I wanted to. Uh, I had the flux ready. But that's why I want to talk about it because I opted not to. I opted to save my million flux instead of spending it on Clash M keys. And I am since because okay, how do I kind of heard this? Since I opened up 23 and I got two Clash M keys, and then I opened up another three empowered gem boxes and I got another two Clash M key fragments, I found them to be extremely common enough to where spending flux on them would actually be a waste. So I opted not to. I used the two Clash M keys on my Shadow Hunter, obviously. And then the next video I'll be releasing is the Gunslinger, because that was the other one that I uh, got. So I wanted to show that one off, too. So those are the only ones that I got. And then I'm just going to wait for Clash or my Empowered Gem boxes, and then I'll get them that way. And I would expect from my estimations and just proof, or not proof, but like from my current RNG, again, everything is RNG, I could literally get 10 eggs in a row, that's possible, <laughs> uh, which wouldn't be Clash M keys, obviously that'd be pretty amazing, amazing luck, but that wouldn't be what I'm looking for, right? Um, so on average, I'm expecting, expecting, not knowing, uh, that I will receive about a Clash M key a week, which would be uh, pretty good, that means I can do a Clash guide every week, and I can show off the Clash gem, or the, yeah, the class is a gem. On level 27, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, that seems like it actually lines up pretty good. I think even with them not being tradable, I'm still extremely happy that Clash M key fragments themselves exist because uh, they still line up pretty good with what I would do. I would want to make a class guide every week, and as long as my RNG stays the same, it looks like I can do that, and everything lines up pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, Shadowhunters Clash, I mean, you guys have been watching. Uh, I've been trying to discuss things very quickly while you guys can just watch the gameplay, because there's not much to say about the gameplay. It is pretty awesome. It attacks extremely fast. Uh, it's I can still see the the flaws in it, though. I don't. I wouldn't say the Shadowhunter is overpowered by any means. Um, having played him <laughs> for the past like 30 hours uh, and still doesn't deny the fact he probably is one of the still the best dungeon clearers because he does have his ultimate and he can sh sh uh, shadow mark an enemy which will cause an explosion that deals a ton of damage which could possibly at higher power ranks one shot a boss I don't know <laughs> um, I heard otherwise but I could still see it um, that's just my my assumptions uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give a like. Episode 100 is the next one, so look forward to that. Uh, well, I mean, I guess don't look forward to that. I should probably lower your guys' expectations rather than 
hiring them because I've already recorded episode 100 and trust me it's not it's not what maybe some people are looking for um, so yeah just just uh, know that episode 100 is next what comes after 99 100 there you go keep your expectations low uh, and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video you can give a like and I will see you guys next time <laughs>